let us look at an example of a confusion matrix so here we have a thousand samples in our data and the positive class is cancer presence and the negative class is cancer absence right uh, so we have 10 positive samples and we have 990 negative samples okay so we have uh, we have a machine learning algorithm which is trained to detect whether cancer is present or not okay so now we ran that algorithm on this uh, data set okay and we get this kind of a confusion matrix okay so again you have the actual classes you have the predicted classes you have the positive and the negative classes so if you look over here out of 10 you know uh, samples which have cancer only two are predicted as having cancer eight is being uh, predicted as cancer is absent right and out of 990 samples where cancer is absent it is actually predicting 980 samples as cancer is absent and 10 samples as cancer is present okay so this is your true positive this is your true negative this is your false positive and this is your false negative now if you do the accuracy computation over here you see that uh, the accuracy comes close to 98.2 percent right now this is very good accuracy right but what is the flaw over here this is a kind of an imbalanced data set right the number of positive classes is very small okay you can even invert it and say that this is a positive class which is cancer absence and cancer uh, presence is the minority class right is the negative class even then it's an imbalanced data set so in case of an imbalanced data set uh, the accuracy is not a good measure because if you look at this algorithm we are missing on eight cancer patients over here who have cancer but they are getting predicted as they don't have cancer right so this is actually a limitation of looking at accuracy as a metric for the performance of classification algorithms